हेलो एवरी वन लेट एस स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन एंड टूडे सेशन वी विल गोइंग टू डील फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन टीजर्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन टीजर्स लेट एस क्विकली रिवाइज वॉट वी हैव टू लर्न द प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ टेल मी हाउ डू यू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन यूअर क्लास you can count or you can start counting the students or saying 1 2 3 and so on so that around 40 students are there in your class right if i ask you how many family members are there in your family you say you start the counting again 1 2 3 and so on and you say that around 10 members are in your family and the same thing if i ask you to any question like this similarly you say you start the counting 1 2 3 and so on right here observe 1 2 3 and so on here there is no end to it these numbers are called counting numbers and we see that there is no end to the numbers these numbers are called natural numbers counting numbers and are also it is denoted by capital letter here zero or not include include in this set natural numbers are always positive numbers okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on are called natural numbers now let us go to if we add zero to the natural numbers zero uh is used if our frequently in our daily life suppose your father has given to you 100 rupees of amount you have spent all 100 rupees if i ask how much money left with you you say that i have no money i have left with zero right so zero is uh, we used uh, frequently in our daily life if we add zero to natural numbers we are get the new numbers that is all numbers these numbers are called all numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on here also we are not get the end number it is infinite okay children all numbers are always positive these set a uh, set of numbers is denoted by the letter capital w so natural numbers are the part of all numbers okay children now we are going to the another numbers that is integers if we should add the negative numbers to the all numbers means negative numbers all numbers means 0 1 2 3 and so on such numbers are called as integers here um, uh, observe zero and uh, all numbers are part of the uh, integers so now if i add negative numbers to all numbers then we will get integers suppose in our daily life many times we use integer negative and positive numbers for example in our daily life of profit and loss we can use this uh, terms right profit indicates positive numbers loss indicates negative numbers okay uh, in temperature also we are used positive and negative so positive zero negative numbers are called integers this set of numbers are denoted by capital z okay children this is the example for integers minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 0 1 2 so on let us now represent some integers on number line for that you should take one line this line when we are uh, mark the numbers on this line we are getting the number line zero from right side of the zero positive numbers from left side of the zero negative numbers from right side of the zero all are uh, should be increased okay from left side of the numbers all are decreased right side numbers are always greater than the left side numbers okay children uh, if uh, you are uh, how to find find out the greater value and smaller value by using this number line just you are thinking simply the right side value is always the bigger than the left side okay children right side value is the bigger value and left side value is the smaller value by using of this condition we are easily identify the greater value and smaller value by using of this we have find out the exercise 1 problems now start exercise 1 first question some integers a marked on the number line which is the biggest and which is the smallest number identify here minus 3 and 2 which is the biggest one here okay minus 3 and 2.
both are in these two uh, we are finding which is the biggest number and which is the smallest number so observe children minus 3 and 2 which is the right side value and which is uh, from left side of the zero okay 2 is right side and minus 3 is left side so simply we can identify the greater value and a smaller value right so the right side value is 2 and the left side value is minus 3 so that we can conclude right side value 2 is bigger number and left side value 3 is smaller number so that answer biggest number is equal to 2 and smallest number is equal to minus 3 ok children is it clear to you now going to the next question write the integers between the pair of integers given below also choose the biggest and smallest integers from them so the first question is minus 5 comma minus 10. Here in the end of the numbers we can identify the bigger value and smaller value. Identify. So minus 5 comma minus 10. Which is the right side value? Minus 5. Which is the left side value? Minus 10. Now identify the remaining numbers in between of these two. Minus 10 ki minus 5 ki madde la unne yente. Minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6. Right? These four numbers are uh, uh, in between of minus 5 comma minus 10. Okay children? So our answer is minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6. So the smallest number is minus 9 and biggest number is minus 6 from these 4. Okay children? Is it clear? Remaining problems are homework to you. Now going to next one. Write the following integers in ascending order. What is meaning by ascending order? We should arrange the numbers in smallest number to biggest number. The first question. Minus 5, 2, 1, 8. Arranging into ascending order. So once observe e, the given numbers we should arrange in, into ascending order. Let us think the number line. From which numbers are from right side and which numbers are left side. Once recall that. Okay children. So for that we can easily write ascending order. So just imagine the number line and locate that numbers minus 5, 2, 1, 8 where it is in which position. Then is it clear? I think okay. So the ascending order is so negative numbers are smaller numbers right. Minus 5 comma. Next one is 1. Next occurring number 2. Next one is 8. Smallest to biggest. Minus 5, 1, 2, 8. Remaining problems are homework to you. Now going to next one. Write the following integers in descending order. Same the above how we can conclude. Here also we can do like that only. But arranging the numbers in biggest to smallest. So the first, second question. I will explain the second question. Minus 8, minus 2, minus 1. Why I am choosing this? All the negative numbers. So that's why I prefer this question. So here observe which numbers are right side and which numbers are left side. So from this the descending order biggest to smallest here minus 1 is bigger number after that minus 2 after that minus 8 okay minus 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 8 is this numbers are in descending order or not yes these all are descending order means biggest number two smallest number why because minus 1 it is the position right side after my left side of minus 1 is minus 2 left side of uh, uh, minus 2 is minus 8 so this is descending or remaining all like this only so remaining all problems are homework to you okay children see